Hello, I'm Papakan. I'm back playing some more Super Auto Pets. It's a new week and that means a new weekly pack. Now I do have to say I have already played a few runs on this pack uh, when it first came out the other night. And uh, first impressions of it, it's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, it's got some good stuff going. I Well, it's got some good stuff going on in it. Some interesting stuff. I don't know if this, sh this is... Uh, this lineup right here is necessarily a good example of that. You got interesting stuff in here, like, well, good stuff anyways. Moth again, otter is always uh, interesting, otter and fish. Let's get right here. What, uh, two mouse and an ant. Ugh. Yeah, I'm really not, uh, really not vibing with that. Two mice could, could, could pick them up. I think if I do, that's just asking to lose, uh, lose the first round. Ant, I think, is pretty good. I think we'll just take an ant here and roll. Two ants and a fish. We'll go with that. Okay, uh, team name. Well, sometimes you get team name options and there's just absolutely nothing. Here I'm seeing, like, uh, several combinations. And then there's one in particular I'm seeing that's, uh, well, interesting to say the least. Uh, just gonna go with the... One that's just a little more comfortably interesting uh, will be the Foamy Bell Towers. Um, you know, we win that. Surprisingly enough. I mean, I mean ants are pretty good. You have to put some respect on the ant. Okay, second fish here. Good call. A moth could potentially be good with the ant. But I'm gonna skip it. And you know what's even better is uh, two, two more ants. I think we do that. And I think we do one of those. So that'll get us our uh, level two next turn. For the uh, tear up. Uh, don't know how the future of this team looks, but the start starts looking pretty good. We'll see. We win that. See, we. It, ant meta. Ant meta is the meta. We have more ants and we won. That's, that's all there is to it. Okay, level you up. Aardvark. Now, how many summons were in this pack? Uh, not really that many, I don't think. I mean, bear, rooster, some stuff late game, but I don't think an Aardvark necessarily is the play here. I think we want our weaker ant in front. But, Aardvark ain't bad stats. We'll take it just because it's there. Now, hindsight, I'm kind of regretting not saving that, uh, that meat there. Okay, who, who's going to be sticking around here? None of this interests me. I don't think that interests me on anyone. Or, okay, crazy thought here. We're going to keep the aardvark for later in the game if we keep it around. So let's do that. Let's do that. And we just have a bulky aardvark that's going to get its attack back right away. Because I don't, I don't see any of that stuff they're doing and just rolling doesn't, doesn't seem good. 
So let's see, let's see how that goes. Ooh, well, foamy bell towers versus soft bell towers. I think we all know how this should play out. Oh, by one. Oh. That's, uh, just honestly, that's heartbreaking. Okay. Do I want to put meat on Nant is the question here. I think the answer is... I think the answer is a big ant could do some work for us here. I'm going to be a little weird here. I'm going to put on this one. Because I'd rather have 7 attack on the first one. Oh, it's only 4 now. Oh. Good to know. Still... I'd rather have a 6-1 and a 4-3 than a 2-1 and an 8-3. So still happy with that. Uh, well, there's another ant. So, I'm thinking here. I have a thought here. Let's combine the fish, because getting a level on the fish could still be useful. And let's just pick up another ant. And I would really like to get you just like that. And bulk up the artwork. Bulk up our little sailor bambo there. A reference that really only a handful of people will get. So don't, don't feel bad if you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's a uh, in-joke with a friend. Ooh. For a second there, I thought that was going to be a win, but I'll take a draw. That, that was a respectable enough round that I'll take the draw. Second Aardvark. Level on you. <laughs> I think I'm going to freeze it for now. Because I might just want to sell the fish and run two Aardvarks. Rather than uh, just putting more into that one for right now. Still kind of junk. I really don't want to do the salad here. Because I don't want it hitting either of these ants. I don't really want to combine the ants quite yet because we really don't have anything else on the team. Right now, we are being carried by these ant buffs. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep bulking you up because that's the one thing we've got going right now. Roll again. And I think we're going to go like that. Give us six gold by you. And I think we just put our eggs in one basket here and we're, we're going big bambo. Big bambo time. So you're going to turn into a 514 on turn five. That's... Especially if some of the ant buffs land on you, that's pretty respectable in my opinion. Could do a lot worse. I'm realizing at this point that this episode is probably going to be titled something about uh, Big Bambos. Which is kind of funny because I did the unlisted video that... Uh, ended up having issues with that also was uh, named after... The legendary Bambo. Now, at this point, that was lost there, but... Okay. I'm gonna be a little mad here. <laughs> this is probably not a good play, but I'm committed now. One friend of each level. Okay, I have two thoughts here. Thought number one, 
is it would be really nice if we had a level 3 ant. Dolphin only does 3 damage now. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe I don't want a dolphin. I was kind of thinking I want to take that, but... Okay, so Dragonfly, I think, is a safe pick. Not a great pick, but... You take what you get, right? Uh, you know what? I think... It pains me to do this. We combine those. Which I realize isn't optimal. I really should be combining onto the higher stack because of how stats work, but... Actually, really, I had no reason not to do that. That was actually just a misplay on my part. Put in a dolphin. I think that's where I want to keep the dolphin. Come on, hit the aardvark, hit the aardvark. Yes, that the two best units that could have hit. don't like a big blowfish. Oh, I don't like that it survived that long, but we still win because we have a big bambo. We, we are going to live and die by big bambo. Ooh, ooh. Okay, you're gone. Penguin is basically... Uh, doing what the dragonfly was doing for us, only better because it's going to hit the two units we actually want to be buffing. Well, maybe not the ant so much, but the ant is still kind of useful. And, uh, yeah, I think I noticed this uh, another time, but I noticed they changed the penguin. I don't think it's... I don't think it's that much of a debuff, really, because realistically... Realistically, you wouldn't have that many, like, leveled up units for it to buff. Like, the real hard hit is that it's is the level 3s you're going to have a hard time getting. But I don't think it's... I think it's a fair, but not a harsh uh, nerf on the penguin that they've done while I was gone. Okay, what else do I want here? Not interested in any of you. They're all... you all suck. Um, I mean, man, broccoli is tempting. Could salad, salad bowl is objectively better, but keep, keep feeding the bamboos broccoli. Feed it greens, make it grow big. Uh, what is there for food? Is there anything on food? Nothing else on food I really want right now, so I'm going to freeze that as a, in case we get nothing good. And we got nothing good, so I'm going to put that right on the dolphin just to get a little extra oomph for the time being. Actually, I'm going to move you in front because you're going to hit a little harder. That'll mean you're not potentially eating up an ant buff that we want on the aardvark. All right. Took out their back line. That's a good start. That, uh, the bus. I think we're still good, though. Yeah. Big Bambo is doing it for us. And this is kind of, it's a little weird team comp, but this is kind of just classic uh, turtle pack strategy of just have one really big unit carry you. Well, I was going to say quickly, but we're four wins on turn eight. Is the dolphin? I don't think the dolphin is it. What does the dolphin do on level up now? So it triggers. Oh, it triggers multiple times now. So that's still a nerf, I think, from what it 
was? Huh. That's an, er I, that's an interesting way to do that, though, for the level up on it. Uh, yeah, I don't think the dolphin is it, though. I don't think anything here... Uh, grapes just doesn't seem that good, to be honest. Canned food, because we're gonna be buying something here. Hopefully. Hopefully it's, it's a hope. Freeze the salad, because... Okay. Okay, okay. So, forget the salad, because we're going to basically get a salad by combining those two. Move you up. I don't really like how... <sighs> hmm. This is going to be completely contrary to how I would normally build a team, and it is probably kind of stupid. But, no, that is just stupid. Because I don't, it's only the one ant buff, so... It's not... It'd be nice to get on the aardvark, but it's not that big a Oh, excuse me, that big of a deal. I'll try that. Not sure I'm too confident about that. No, I can't help but notice the irony that uh, what's carrying our team right now is an aardvark and an ant. This looks winnable. Oh. Nope, this is not winnable. <laughs> okay. Okay. Your start of turn. You don't get us out of the hole right away. I think a canned food is good. We don't have summons, so you don't do anything. I think we need to roll again. Lemon. Freeze the lemon. I hate to get rid of the croissant, but I think I think keeping you a little safer is going to be more important if we don't get anything else. Freeze that. I think we have to do that. Because it's going to be, you're getting 2 2 from the double penguin at this point. So I think just making you tankier is really the best play, and we're really banking on starting to see some summons come into effect here. I don't know. I don't know. Um. I think I do know. I think this team looks a little scary for us. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Wait. <laughs> I just saw the team, the other team's name, and uh, I, I misread Bamboo as uh, Bambo. I, that was very concerning to me for a second. Not concerning, very shocking. Okay, so that... I will say that was a fun run, but not the best run. Big Bambo was very funny, though. Uh, let's try one more here. Okay. Dr. Marmoset. I think I like the duck just a little more. I'll definitely take the ant. Uh, maybe I should have gone Marmoset. I mean, I really don't want to level Marmoset, though, so. Not very impressive, but it's a team. Ah. Uh, I mean, I know which of these I want. That will be the Creamy Riders. I thought that's... Like I always say, the most important part of this game is just picking your team name. Now, oh, if I had gone to the dock instead of the Marmoset, we would have won that. Okay, I think we take a duck here. 
just get our ducks in a line, as the saying goes. Ah, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I have to go like this. Please hit the... Oh, please hit the duck. What does this game have against me? <laughs> the one unit that I least wanted you to hit with the buff, and you hit it not once. Not once. Once was understandable. Twice. Is uh, just, just offensive. I feel like we're... I don't think we're winning. Mind you, you win by one. And I absolutely... I take that every time. Take that with no complaints. Okay, uh... Ha. Huh. What do I really want to do with this team? This team has, like, just nothing going here. What I want is duck. What I want to see is a duck. Toucan. Okay, here we'll do that. And I think a toucan with a meat on it is pretty decent. I don't think the duck's staying after it levels. Croissant on something? Or... Let's just keep rolling. That I will keep around. If that's the case, keep rolling again. Uh, you know what? Sure. A little less confident about this team so far than the uh, last one, but... Six health. Ooh, plus the moth buff. That's not too bad, but uh, just... The, the thing is, when you see Moth in the pack, you know there's a pretty predictable, reliable chance that whatever your opponent has in front is going to be something that can just one-shot you, unless you have an amount of health that is just stupidly high. Like, that that fish with, the, uh, with six health, I think, is, like, just at the threshold of, okay, you kind of got away with it, but... You're kind of also throwing away your tankiest unit because it's going to lose. It's going to be either one shot or left on one one health. So it's, it's just not good really in either outcome. Blowfish. There isn't elephant in this pack, is there? There is not. There is woodpecker, I guess, but it's just not the same as the elephant with the blowfish machine gun is just it's just not the same you know wait did i wasn't paying attention but you absolutely buffed the marm set again didn't you okay and there i'm gonna freeze that because i'm gonna level you next turn and then probably sell you to give a buff to whatever uh tier four yeah tier four pet that uh shows us and I think, and it's not sticking around long, I think I just give an apple to the toucan, because the marmoset is still pretty expendable. The toucans really are, as sad as this is to say, the unit that's most likely to stick around for a little longer, if we live that long. Oh, that is a big raccoon. Ooh. That's a big boy. I mean, I'm not even mad at that. I'm I'm just impressed by the size of that raccoon. A bison, huh? A bison. Ugh. That would be really good if we had a tier 3. 
So the question is, here's the thing. I'd like to sell the duck, but also I know if I sell the duck or the otter for that matter, I'm going to start seeing ducks and otters and wish I had kept it so I could get a level three. What I'm going to do, I think the ant is gone, is actually what I think. Then we're going to come in here, uh, freeze that in case. See, there's an otter. Okay, unfreeze that. Put you on there. Love to see that hit units we want to keep. Well, I say that. I did hit the marmoset too. Okay. I think you go ahead. I want, I want the meat to go to something that's going to be relatively a glass cannon. So let's put the duck up here. Oh, they add a new animation for that. That's interesting, but also I don't like that animation. That was a very disturbing animation. <laughs> There's just something about the flash red and the ee that's just, ooh. Now, I wish that would have been a win, but I'll take the tie. Take the tie, live to fight another day. Uh, nothing here I really want. I could take a croissant, but honestly, the only thing I put on is the marmoset. Which, annoyingly, is still, still our best unit, even though it's a unit I would almost most like to get rid of. Garlic, but it would be on the marmoset. <sighs> I'm gonna freeze that. Are you kidding me? I want I want otters at this point, not ducks. <laughs> uh this this game. This fucking game. This fucking game. I think I'm glad we're still on 8 health, because uh, I'd be very concerned right now. Actually, no, no, forget that. Uh, really, though? The Chris. I think I have to garlic the marmoset. I think that is the best play here. Yeah, that, that animation. I don't know about that. I do have to say, though, the game is, like, just a lot of little details like that, though, that are just amazing to remember where it was, like, almost a year ago when I first played it. I do have to say this is a pretty good game. And actually, a friend did remind me recently uh, something very much to look forward to. Uh, there is supposed to be a new pack, a new expansion coming out uh, sometime before the end of the year. And I really haven't followed or kept track much uh, about that. But when it does come out, I do definitely intend to want to kind of just a review video, my thought, my first thoughts on what's in the pack. Because like I said, uh, it sounds like most of the stuff's been coming out on Twitter. And uh, I avoid Twitter like the plague as much as I can. So I I think I've maybe seen one or two things that have uh, friends have shown me, but other than that, I, I really have no idea what's what to expect in it, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Definitely going to be uh, more Super Auto Pets content. Uh, what do I want to do here? I think a salad is just what I'm going to have to go with. Wow, you are just... The fact that you are so useless makes me regret trying to invest in getting a level three. And I think, honestly, your your time, your window of opportunity has kind of came and gone. Which doesn't uh, bode very well for our chances. Actually, you can be up here. You can be there. You go there. Oh, that sound, though. Oh, don't like it. 
Oh, I don't like that level 3 swan with... Ooh. You do take it out, though. Is... Ah, oh, we win. No, we draw. <laughs> Classic spoke too soon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, honestly, why? 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 Like, literally, I could get rid of most all this team and replace it with something better. Uh, okay, here, you're gone. You're in. I should have done that the other way around because you're going to... Yeah, of course you would go on to that. Freeze that if nothing comes up. This team is very bad. Like, this is such a bad team. Uh, annoying thing is, is now with the Penguin, those two are going to scale, and the Marmoset's going to be uh, useless again. Yeah, I think that's, uh... I think this is the swan song of this run. Why would you give me two marmosets now? <laughs> the shop has not liked me. The shop has not been my friend. That, however, I can get behind. Now, let me think about this. Let me think about this. Let's sell you. Let's buy you. The best stats we have so far, buy you. Put you behind there so you get meat is a good call. But now you're only buffing. Oh. But, that's okay. Gonna sell you canned food, buy you, take a roll. I think it's a little late, but I do think we need to consider a polar bear here. Because the otter can go now. The otter is just, the otter is stats, but it's not doing anything beneficial for us. We saw it be, there's better stuff. I think this team's going to peter out. But, uh, yeah, there should be more, uh, super auto pet, uh, if I can speak, there's, at least, there's going to be more super auto pets content, uh, going on the channel. I think it's going to stay a mainstay, probably, this channel, just because it's something I can record fairly easily and doesn't really, it takes a bit of time, but I don't have to really edit it or anything like the most work is just the thumbnail really to be honest which <laughs> saying that takes much work if you seen the thumbnail uh but uh there are a few other things i do want to get going on the channel surprisingly one of them that i might get going soon uh that i didn't think i was gonna do why did i take that can i'm not sure that was a good can oh because you uh but yeah one thing that i might end up doing that uh Kind of surprised me. I might end up doing a little bit of Civilization VI on the channel just because uh, there's, surprisingly enough, uh, considering it's been a long time since there's any new DLC for Civ VI, uh, there's new uh, alternate leader DLC coming out uh, in like a week, next Monday. So I kind of thought about it, but seeing as it's actually going to be relevant here soon, I... I think I will try to have, like, just, it'll be probably edited, but ha have the little bit of the new Civ 6 stuff uh, on the channel. Okay, um, and there's other stuff going to be on the channel that I have planned and in mind, but enough. To, I need to focus on this for a second. Because who wants to just s sit here watching me do nothing as I talk, right? That's silly. Why? Who would who would watch a video on YouTube just to hear someone talk? <laughs> uh, okay. I 
think I freeze you. I think about freezing you. Can I can here? I think I can. You have two left. So I'm going to get two gold, three gold. Uh, math. Math is uh, hard. No, I think I can. I think I can, can. Can I do? I can, can. Okay. Sell you. This team is still just awful. Why? Oh, oh, it doesn't automatically do it now. It just gives you a... Oh, that is so nice. Oh, when did they do... Holy... My... That just... Wow. You know, that... That that makes up for the uh, blinking red uh, could not activate ability thing the bison was doing earlier. That that actually kind of makes up for that. Okay, now the thing here is, what do we want buff? And strangely enough, I think it's going to be the toucan. Then we sell you. I think we just buy you now. Take our free roll. We definitely keep a monkey. Because haven't you always wanted a monkey, right? I think we keep two monkeys. And two can. You pass two... Yeah, to the two nearest behind if we do that. So... There is merit to keeping that, especially, uh, I mean, monkey, though. Also, we don't want, uh, we don't want you to get the polar bear buff, but if it hits either of them, so I think we just gamble that. I think we gamble that, and I'm going to be honest, I fully expect uh, we're going to lose this round anyways. So it probably doesn't matter. That is going to be, oh, we live? But do we win? I don't think we beat that moth. We definitely do not. Ah, well. Ah, not as good as the first run, and honestly, both runs were kind of bad. But, uh, you know, it was still fun. So, uh... Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you want notifications, uh, ring the bell. Uh, until next time, bye bye